Hey, hi Joshua, how are you guys? Hello. I'm gonna let's try this one more time, shall we? Let's hey Joshua, hey Janet, hey Kimberly, great to see you guys. Here we are, our 90-day challenge ready to go. And can you believe it? Our 32nd day of this challenge. And I'm I'm ready to draw. I'm gonna give you guys another 30 seconds or so to load up. I got a really fun lesson and I have to stick to 15 to 20 minutes because uh, I have to go pick up my son from the trampoline house. Woohoo! He and his sister and her friend are down there at the trampoline house just jumping all over. You know, have you ever, do you have these at your house, these trampoline houses that you can jump on the trampoline, on the ground, and on the walls? There's like just a huge, I don't know, 20,000 square feet of just trampolines. Have you ever heard of that called high altitude? It's pretty cool. All right, well, listen, let's, we're going to start drawing. Let me start the timer. And welcome to our 90-day drawing challenge, 90 days. This is, uh, now it's, we're just, we're part of our, our creative tribe of drawing every day together, aren't we? It's just so great to see you guys. Uh, you guys, uh, um, oh, you're asking all kinds of great questions. I want to just tell you all about my life. But tonight, I have to get right into drawing because I have to go pick up the kids. All right, so... Uh, we are going to draw the ant portal today. Now, this is the, our 90-day challenge, so it's going to... I'm trying to figure exactly how to title it. You guys, send me some comments. What do you think? Do you think we should call it the 90 drawings, 90 day, it 90 drawings, 90 days, or 90 days, 90 drawings? What sequence should we put it? What do you guys think, huh? What do you think? So let me know, because I'm still trying to figure that one out. This is we're kind of making this up as we go. We're going to use this book here as a reference, and I had my whole lesson planned out, but uh, there it is right here. We're going to draw a really cool. I want to show you where this lesson is inspired from. We're going to use this book. I have, I've written 14, 15, 16 books, 17 books. I've written a lot of books on how to draw. And uh, uh, hey, Jr., I haven't seen you on before, Mr. Jr. Warren. Good to see you, guy. Uh, so this is this is a really neat book. Um, this one I wrote back in oh my goodness what I don't even remember the year, but it's such it's such a great great old book, and it's still out it's still available on Amazon.com. Uh, this is back in 1994, and what the drawing we're gonna do tonight is kind of a c accumulation of several drawings. Let me show you. We're gonna go into here. It's from uh, where's my show you the Imagination Station book. It's really cool. It has like uh, I don't know 200 uh, oh, it has 230 pages about. We're going to go to page 138. I'll show you this page here, 138. And I like this book because it has the drawing, the drawing lesson, and it has uh, the, you know, if you ever heard of, uh, anybody ever know, hear of Mike Krahulik? He's the guy who created Penny Arcade and uh, the PAX Comic Cons and uh, just a super successful cartoonist. He, when he was 14, inked all these drawings for me. He was really a young genius. Uh, uh, fellow. So for this one, we had the drawings. Then we had, I gave a space for you to draw. And then I gave you a little practice. And then I gave you a little story starter down here. Isn't that cool? And then uh, this, I forgot, I haven't looked in this book in years. And it's just, it's full of neat stuff. So we're going to do a little bit of the, this idea here of the tubes. And then we go to 230. I'm going to show you, wait, that 138. That's right. Then we go to 230. I'm going to show you the combination of all this stuff here. 2.30. Wait a minute. A lot of cool stuff. I need a copy. It's just... Oh, thank you for buying my books, you guys. That's cool. Now, look at We're going to do a little bit of this. Uh, not this tonight. We're going to do this one right here. This is cool. Look at this. Is These are the little pieces. This is a game I love. This is based on my one of my favorite games when I was a child. It was the, the cards that you build. You build a, a pipe. You lay pipes with cards, and you put leaks on your brothers, sisters. Have you ever have heard this before? I can't remember what it was called. But then you had elbows and U's and T's. And so this is the, the uh, what do you call it? The rule, the, te the template, right? These are the choices. And then you build, using these pieces, you build a little thing. So we're going to do something like this in our drawing today. Isn't that fun? I love that. That's just a fun little game. And then in two page 240... And then th th this is what it's going to look like on the outside, kind of. See that window? We're going to do a slice window into the ant world. So it's going to be really, really cool. So let's start. 
30 day pencil third i don't know what i'm going to call it i'm still confused uh 90 days 90 drawings do you want to do that you want to do nine, uh, 90 something how about 90 i still haven't figured it out 90 comma blank 90 so you guys have we have by the end of the lesson today we have to figure it out 90 days 90 drawings or 90 drawings 90 days all right not sure what it's going to be yet all right I gotta stop hitting my cameras because you guys are probably sick of seeing that thing bounce. That is, I'm gonna focus it for you. How is, how, I know the, the, my video, my connection, how's the connection today, guys? Can you give me an A uh, for the audio, A one through five, and V for video, one through five? How is it on your end here? A one through five, and V one through five. What do you guys think? Give me a give me a score here, okay. Uh, audio one through five. You got to, hey, Lauren. You got to put a five or a one two three four a something. A one two three five. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw an ant coming out of the hill. So this will be our ant, little ant hill here. All right. Let me see if I can move this up, and then I'm gonna bring it down so it's a little more full screen. Oh, good. Audio five. Oh, excellent, Karen. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So we're gonna block this in look at put an outside i'm going to draw an ant and a little ant's face coming out of the hill this will be an ant hill it's going to this is really a fun lesson it's really really cool and i'm going to draw the ant's face here okay and then i'm going to draw the kind of the a taper kind of the ant's body here this is the top you know ants have three sections but we'll just draw the top section all right now check this out so we're going to kind of very lightly draw the this this mountain here all right really light it's gonna be a full page it's really cool and hi Martin how you guys doing now uh, here let's block it I'm gonna put a slice like a, this is gonna be the portal the ants go through here they travel down here and this is how they get all over the world they travel through these these maybe they're uh, uh, magnetic tubes or maybe they're high air pressure like the bank tubes you know those air pressure tubes at the bank so this is like a slice off now this Definitely was also inspired by a, one of my favorite illustrators. I say that about all the illustrators. So I, love, I just love illustrators. Um, Gary Larson. You guys, give me a give me a thumbs up if you have ever uh, seen and enjoyed Gary Larson's work, The Far Side. Just just love that guy's work. Gary Larson and uh, uh, Martin Hanford from Where's Waldo and uh, uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Um, Oh my goodness! Come on, I'm having a uh, my brain just locked there. Uh, help me, guys! Help me, Calvin and Hobbes, the illustrator for Calvin and Hobbes. Look at this. I'm I'm 55 and I I know this. He's like one of my hero artists. I've been wanting to meet him for my whole life, and now I can't even remember his name. Come on, someone type in Calvin and Hobbes. Author is Bill Watterson. Ah, I got it before anybody typed it. Ah, Bill Watterson. If you hey, if anybody out there knows someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows any of these illustrators. Uh, you guys, let's do the seven steps. You know the seven steps to Kevin Bacon? Isn't that funny? Let's do the seven steps to Bill Watterson. Let's see if one of you knows someone who knows someone who knows someone who's like the brother of the neighbor who lives next door to Bill Watterson and see if he, he'll come on the show. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be great? He, all right, let's draw, let's draw his eyes. And then you can do that for uh, Martin Hanford from Fine Waldo. And uh, here, I'm going to draw the little mouse's, or the uh, ant's face. So here's overlapping. Draw the eye back here. I know the hair. This is exactly the hair in my dirt. This is inspired from the hair in my dirt, that book. And you are absolutely, who said that? Let me see here. Uh, Julie Nicole. Hi, Julie, all the way from Roswell. How you doing, dear? How are all your three boys doing and all your third graders down there? Okay, now look at I'm going to draw it. Now look at I'm going to go right over this. Three sections for his antenna. One, two, three. And I make the other one droop and more. One, two, three. Three sections. Just go right over the drawings. It's okay. Uh, teach. I teach K through 2. I love the way you talk. Oh, I, I do not stumble over my words. I speak very clearly, articulately. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, I do. I'm a goofball. I know that. What, as Anna says, I'm the king of cheese. Since we're okay, look at we drew a little. Uh, uh, I know a guy who bought a Calvin Hobbs book one time. 
Now, Nigel, Nigel, I want to thank you for being my token, incredibly edgy. I'm always just a little bit, ah, a little on edge. Wondering what you're going to come up with next there, Mr. Mister. Thank you for keeping it Turbo G rated. Appreciate it. You, uh, he, funny guy. Hey, I love, I love your, uh, your edgy post. Okay, now watch this. We got to have our edgy guy in the class. Now look at overlapping, coming around here. And uh, look at wrinkles. This is we're just gonna make a little uh, ant mountain. All right. Now remember, if you're teaching K through two, uh, you you guys remember, I'm doing the webcast. I know you're probably tired of hearing this. On February fifteenth, Pacific time. If you guys are teachers, look at these logins. These times, watch the video. This is if you're in Washington, you can come to the to the uh, February twenty fifth through the 27th Comic-Con in Portland. That's the combo for, that's the 50% coupon code for Wizard World. But the important thing here is, these are the times I'm doing free webcast for these levels, and I hope you guys join me, okay? I'm trying to get 500 schools involved, K through 12, along the Pacific Coast. It's really cool, I hope you guys join us. Okay, now, I'm gonna draw a tube coming down here. Draw the tube coming down here, curve the bottom, this is contour, uh, and then, I'm going to draw like a, I think what I'll do is I'll do a sphere right here. I'm going to do like a little sphere. And then it's okay. Look, at it's sloppy. Mine's a little sloppy. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. All right, now watch this. From here, I want to draw the tube going this way. Now, so if you take, if you if the ant goes the, in this direction, this is going to go to San Diego. Now, if the ant goes this direction over here, Okay, if the ant goes in that direction, that's going to go to, like, Portland. And then if the ant goes in this direction here, he's going to go to uh, L.A. or something. And then maybe he, maybe he's going to Seattle via Denver or something, right? He has a, a layover. Okay, now, hi, Ryan Shaw. How are you doing? Now, for this one... Let's say that, now the ant here, curve this. Now here's the drawing compass. Remember we, we talk about the drawing compass? Remember we talk about the drawing compass here, right? So, uh, we're going to use these. These are the four positions that I use most as, uh, an, as an artist, as an illustrator. Uh, this is the compass. We lay the compass down. It's a foreshortened compass. We're going to use these distorted positions. The illusion of near and far. That's what we're trying to do. Create the illusion of near and far. So if he takes this tube, the ant, Maybe he goes to Miami or Michigan or... Okay, that's good. <laughs> ah! If he goes to Michigan, he's going to go to Michigan by way of Atlanta, right? Is it, uh, Michigan's north and Miami's south. I, I know. So up here. Now let's go. Hi, Ashley. Turn the corner. Now we're going uphill here. Watch. So this one will go uh, to United Kingdom, okay? Now the reason I'm saying all these cities is because I'm going to actually write my calendar dates. So I'm... I'm going to, uh, like, do a little of my advanced notice promotion for my visits. Isn't that funny? I'm going to tie it into the lesson. I'm so clever. I'm going to have this tube go up. This, this, this is, I didn't, wasn't planning this. I'm just going to do something kind of cool. I have an idea here. I'm going to have a tube lo loop up and over. So I'm going to have this tube go up and then go up and over and around. And then maybe this, this goes here and splits off. And then this split goes to here like this. Okay, that cool. All right. So we got a little, got a little. We're gonna do a lot of contour lines. It's gonna be really fun, you guys. And then this one here. Let's do. Uh, maybe this one comes off of here. And, and then it goes up. And it goes over these to back behind the two, and it comes a, a, in front of this one. And then under and around again and over here. All right, so there we go. So it goes around. Uh, I kind of think this should need to. I don't know. Do you like that one? Let's. I, I think maybe I'll do this here. I, I I think this one needs to go in front. I'm going to reverse it. Okay, there. Okay, I like that. That's better. All right, so then. Back here, I'm going to have this a smaller tube going. These are all the different ways that the ant can travel, okay? All these tubes. And we have another one here. And then uh, uh, one 
going this way and one smaller one over here and then up here I'm gonna put like uh, little mountains maybe overlapping look at little mountains overlapping and maybe make a big one back here different sizes and shape use a little variety okay do, do a little variety at the top and then I'll do uh, maybe a little little mountain right here a little one Maybe maybe I'm doing it like a peak here. Like the the Wild West kind of thing there. Okay, so you have the ant, and then this ant. Uh maybe I'm gonna put his he's like pointing. So I'm gonna have him pointed. Whoa, I'm gonna go that way. Okay, bring it back. Oh, well thank you guys. Now I'm going to put the light. Let's put the sun. I'm going to put the sun. you got to identify where's your light source. I'm going to put the light up here. Now, on the mountains, watch this. I'm going to take the mountains. I'm going to put a wiggly line on the mountains and shade up to that wiggly line. I'm going to put another big mountain back here, darken it in, overlapping, do a wiggly line, and shade up. Isn't that a neat way to do the mountains like that? Draw the wiggly line and shade up to that edge. All right, I still, I'm going to look back through the comments everybody please take a vote do you want it to be want me to call it 90 drawings 90 days or 90 days 90 drawings that's the challenge will be at the end but i haven't i keep vacillating between the two okay so we're gonna shade the the mountain here and then i'm gonna blend it here isn't that a fun way to shade the mountains uh you have lots of good questions i've been drawing since well my my mother, you know, my dear dear mother, um, she uh, inspired me totally to when I was a kid to draw. And she says that the earliest that she remembers me drawing was when I was in a uh, high chair drawing in the oatmeal and the cream of wheat with my fingers, you know, and the baby food. And then one time she says, and she swears up and down this is true. Now me and my brothers and my sisters got a little skeptical about the stories as we got older but they're just delightful so there's magic to these stories all right so now uh i'm gonna draw a real jagged this is very much like the word there's hair with my dirt there's there's a hair in my dirt by by uh um uh, oh my goodness um well steve lundquist hi there from carlsbad how you doing so uh, there's Hair in My Dirt by Gary Larson. Now, my mom's story was that she saw me sitting in the kitchen on the floor when I was a baby, you know, I don't know, one and a half, two years old, um, drawing in, with peanut butter on the kitchen floor. So that's the earliest story that I have of of my me drawing from my mom. But, you know, moms have magical stories that you just don't really want to question too closely you just want to enjoy them you want to let let the let the story flow over you right okay now uh steve lundquist goodness gracious how are you doing oh my goodness uh great to have you on here how's the weather out there are you still in california ryan adams how you doing there sir that okay the day comes before the drawing so days then drawings Okay, all right. Well, there's. I'm gonna tally up. I'm gonna let you guys vote on it. I'm gonna let you guys win. I'm gonna go with what you say. Now, will you please grant me a do-over? I need a do-over for the 30 prizes. I I have to figure a way to do it so that I'm organized with it. I'm getting wonderful notes on all the different. I'm getting uh, private messages, public messages on Instagram, on uh, Facebook, on. Uh, um, Twitter on uh, I mean I, I just I can't keep up with them. I can't organize it I'm, I'm not that I'm not that smart you guys I'm a jolly guy but I'm not that smart so here's I need a do-over so here's my idea can everybody please send me an email to here's my email address my email I gotta find something with my email address hold on do you guys know what my email address is somebody can somebody post it there on the on the can someone put it on the there 
Mark at MarkKessler.com. There's my dad surfing Hawaii. Look at that. L l surfing legend. He's in the Hall of Fame there, baby. Let's do this. Let's send me send me an email, okay? And the, put in the subject line. In the subject, please write this. Okay, subject. And then you can link to where you, you posted your drawings. Here's the subject. I, I did. I wrote this down right here. On the subject, write 30 day, 30 days genius art contest. <laughs> okay, I'm, you got to be clear. Submission, and then put your name. Submission. All right. Can you guys do that? Even if you've already sent me a note, would you mind doing just do me do me a solid here because I I have so many and I'm totally confused. So this. If it's all in my email, I can sort it by the subject and put it like the 30 days and then put your name, give me your mailing address. I want to send you something and uh, I remember I'm going to pick 30 out from the hat. I'll put your names in a hat and I'll pick out the 30 prizes, all right? But you you know, you have till uh, February 14th and I'll I'll pick these live. I'll pick the names live from the hat on February, on Valentine's Day. I'm not sure where I'll be. But is that all right? Can you guys do that? Let's put a shadow under here. Oh my good! Look at how it's already twenty minutes. So much for the old fifteen-minute uh, idea because I still have to. Whoa! I gotta go! I gotta go! Okay! Oh my goodness! I have ten minutes before I gotta go get my precious cargo. All right now. So we have all these rows. Okay now. Let's in the. Uh, Right here, I'm going to put co curve contour lines. Look, curve, 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 curve. I'm going to curve that way on this one. On this one, I'm going to follow these curves here. See, I'm going to curve these even more than you think you have to. This was from the idea. You guys all sent me such great ideas. I, I put a note asking for ideas, and look at all these. Look at these great ideas. Look, look. Uh, t uh, Tammy said contours. David said, Cindy the Dragon. Anna said, Ish, anything with an Ish. Kelly said, Under the Sea. Lip said, Pig, Piggy with Wings. Najil, my edgy man, said, Swamp Thing, Monster Truck, edgy guy. Uh, my uh, Little Birdies from Karen. Adam said, A Shoe. Stegosaurus from Troy. Fish from Spencer. Big Monsters from Gregory. And Brian said, Panda. So, guys, I'm going to uh, I'll, I'm going to do those all. We have 90 days. We have s almost 60 more days. I'm going to reverse this. We have almost 60 more days, so... Uh, and, and you know what? I'm going to do this one reverse this way. Look at Just reverse them. doesn't matter. See, they're, they're, it's going to be very, really funky. And I, I, I'm going to have this one curving away also. Okay. This one's going to be really cool. Look, at, I'm going to have it reverse. I'm going to curve these a lot. Curve these lines a lot. Is it an E or an AN? Oh, at Mark at at Mark at MarkKessler.com. Good question. So you send send me your your link to where you posted all of your drawings, okay? And it's totally the honor system, you guys. Don't stress. I'm not going to go through with a magnifying glass. Just just send me send me send me a collection of them. I'd like to see them all, but if you can't figure a way to get them all in the cop. Don't don't worry. I'm just I trust you. Send send it to me. We'll put them in a hat. And uh, I just really wanted you to do all thirty. Did anybody? How many of you did all thirty? How many of you did all thirty of the whole challenge? I wanted to reverse this. Like I was talking to you and I didn't reverse it. How many of you did revert it? Yeah, Lop. You of course you're mentioned, Lop. You're part of the creative tribe here. You're you're part of the core. You've been here almost every night with me, Lop. Appreciate it. Okay, the curve it. Look at curve them. I'm reversing them. Curve it, curve it. Then I'm going to reverse it again. See what I'm doing? Look at, see, well, look what happened right here. Isn't that awesome? I reversed it. I reversed it. They're going opposite. And then I'm going to reverse it again right here. Watch this. Let's reverse it again. And then I'll reverse it again. That's really, that one's really, that's all wobbly. 24, got to catch up. Karen, good job, Karen. Don't worry. You have two weeks. You have two more weeks to catch up. Don't you worry about it. And I can't believe how many of you. We're all 23 minutes, and I thought I would lose everybody, but we still have a, all of you guys. We have 21,000 people. Okay, we have 21. 
but you know what? Last night's webcast, uh, in 24 hours, we have, uh, what, 900 views? Isn't that wonderful? Did you guys like my live? Wasn't that crazy? I'm definitely, definitely uh, in my happy space when I'm, when I'm teaching with the kitties. I just, I just love teaching. You know, I've been teaching for 40 years, and I love it. And I'm uh, just very confident after 40 years. That's what cat comes after doing something with passion for so many years. You become very, very capable and very confident and very skilled. And it's, it's a lot like being a. I would imagine it's a lot like being an orchestra conductor. You know, I had last night, for instance, we had 350 parents and three, 330 or so. I exaggerate, but um, it's like conducting a symphony. You have you have a lot of different things going on, and you gotta you bring you know excite them to a crescendo of the drawing of humor of joking, and then bring it back down and focus and repeat and quiet and concentrate, and then bring it back up again. It's a it's a rhythm. It's a it's just a it's just a wonderful. Uh, it's a it's a dance. It's a dance that we do, a visual dance, and it's with the grad. So, uh, well, thank you for that. I sure appreciate it. Now, if you guys want me to look at now I tied into a promotion, right? Like I'm an artist. I'm a working artist, so i got to make a living. So um, uh, if you want me to come to your schools or your homeschool groups, send me an email. I do school assemblies all over. I've done um, over 8,000 school programs. 8,000 school programs around the world, and uh, I would love to come. I'm about to go do a whole bunch of school visits in um, in Michigan. So, okay, I'm just I'm going to turn. So I'm turning the corner. I'm turning the corner. I'm going to I'm going to curve. I want this one to curve. I'm going to change this direction. Curve them a lot. Curve them a lot. Do you like Do you like this? Now this one. I think I'm going to have this one. Uh, I'm gonna curve it. I'm gonna curve it down. Uh, I will do. I'll do. I'll go to Canada for Comic Cons. I would love to do Canada Canadian Comic Cons. I have a passport, so uh, it's well used. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna reverse these. I'm gonna have these going the other way. I'm gonna reverse these. The other one. I'm gonna reverse this again. And curve it. I'm going to reverse it again. Isn't that great? Okay, now we just, just, just shade the big parts and we'll use our stompy because I got to hurry here. I got to hurry. Now, what's fun about this one, look at what's really cool in the background. Go like this in the background. You can clean it up later, but you see what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it and try to keep all your strokes going the same direction so it doesn't look really messy. Try if you once I start this angle, I'm going to keep this angle. Isn't that fun? Okay, so very cool here, guys. Okay, let's angle this one, darken it in. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. I don't have time to do it all. I'll just do a little bit. I have um, literally like, <coughs> excuse me, three minutes left. We've gone. Look at this. I can't believe it. You guys are still with me. Oh, you guys are diehards. I love you. I love you. You guys are Duracell batteries. And then let's do the same thing for up here. Let's do the same thing for up here. Dark and get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Dark, lighter and lighter. Dark, lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And so you see, and then you just make a, a sky, right? Okay, dark down here. And then lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and they go around the hand. Uh, oh, you silly. Look at, have you broken the amount of records? Uh, I've drawn a lot more than some and not nearly close to as many as some. So what do they say? <coughs> What's that poem that I memorized in fourth grade? Go placidly amid the noise, haste, and remember what peace there may be for in silence. For that's all I remember. Go placidly amid the noise. Hey, there. Oh, for always there are greater and lesser uh, souls in yourself, or something like that. Do you guys remember that? Go placidly. It was a. It was like a really famous piece here. So we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? Ninety days or ninety drawings? What's it gonna be, kids? We're at two minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay, I'm gonna get the sky. Now, the, be careful. Don't make your drawing muddy. That's a that's a danger of using the stompy. Is don't make it all the same value. You want to keep a lot of different values. So just be very aware when you're using the stompy. You don't want to you don't want to rub everything so it blends it. I do that all the time, and I look back and I go, oh, you know, oh darn it. But it's okay. You don't want to be shy. You want to be aggressive and confident and fun. Now look it, I'm gonna go along the edge. I wanna shade the edge. Now, if you want it to be really cool, look it, you can do every other one like this, look. See, like a like a striped candy cane. You see what I just did here? See, I dip it and then do every other one striped. Isn't that fun? Striped, striped. Definitely wanna shade at the bottom. Wanna shade the bottom. Okay. Uh, this is so fun. Okay. Ah, it's 30 minutes. This is crazy, you guys. How did 30 minutes go by? This is crazy. Absolutely insane. I had, can't even imagine. I am, I'm always baffled how you look at the clock and it's like, oh my gosh, holy mackerel. Look how much time went by. That's why you can spend hours and hours. Look at this. We could we could go for two hours, and we're this is crazy. It's fun. All right, now I want to do this. Okay, so here, go in here. I'm gonna draw a little arrow. Okay, oops. I'm, look at it. Okay, I'm gonna draw an arrow, and hit this, this and this this arrow right here. This is I'm going to New York City schools and the state, New York City and the state and schools. Uh, May, so if you're back there, I have some open days, May 15th to 24, and here I'm going to Minneapolis, oh, I'm going to try to spell Minneapolis again, oh, I hope I didn't misspell that, ah, oh, help me if I did, uh, that's coming up, oh, I didn't write the date, oh, uh, that's next week, I'm going to next, Minneapolis Sunday for a whole week. So if you're there, uh, give me a call. Now I'm going to over here, Chicago. Chicago. I'm going to C2E2 Comic Con. C2E2 Comic Con, and that is March, March 22 through 24. And uh, here, then this. Let's let's say coming down this way, we can go to uh, Michigan schools. If you're in anywhere near Grand Rapids. Michigan schools, uh, Michigan schools, Grand Rapids. It's April 24 through 26. Invite me to your school. I'd love to come to your school. And uh, we're out. Portland. Oh, that's right. We're going to Portland Comic Con. Portland. Remember, if you're going to be there at Portland Comic Con, go to wizardworld.com 22 through 24 and use use my, my code, Kistler. And it's all it's all together, but I have to break it up. Kistler Bogo, you you get one, buy one get one free. It's half off on attendance for Portland. Then here, March seventh through the tenth, I'm going to San Diego Comic Fest. San Diego Comic Fest. I'm going to be so fun. Right down here, right day thirty two, you guys. This is our official day thirty two. Yeah, thank you guys. And you see, we could just we could go on and on. And I dropped my stump. Uh, I just, I don't want to stop, but I got to. I got to go pick up the kids. Woo, two minutes late. I got to go. You guys take care. Thanks for drawing with me. You're awesome. I love you. Help me figure out what we're going to call this darn uh, process. And I will see you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.